Pisces, this is your tarot reading for the month of October. As I saw everyone's coming out, there was sort of themes, there was energies that I recognised as though everything was linked. I mean, why shouldn't it be? But linked to global events. Maybe you see what's happening to you as more personal, but... It is all global. Uh, the one card that I'm absolutely drawn to is that tower card up um, top left there. Most people this month have been getting the death card, which is similar, but not the same. The tower card are almost always, I suggest, is necessary, whereas the death isn't. Although almost everybody's this month, the death card has been a necessary uh, because we're at a time of unprecedented change. We know we are. Cycles, and one cycle ends and another begins. So that's what I'm reading to this death card. I, I, sorry, this tower card. Now, you're sort of searching for answers, searching for creative answers. You've got that page of swords. Searching for information about what's going on to try and understand it. I think maybe you do arrive at it by the end, but not without having to go through this tower. In the past, we had the Knight of uh, Cups. A very loving knight, a knight who wears his heart on his sleeve. Maybe something of a bit of a fool for love. Right now, we have the Ace of Cups, suggesting that you have found a new love, a new and divine love. So very good. I hope it isn't that that comes to an end. I'm not sure. Um, there is great hope in the future. There's, there's been hope for everybody's cards. However bad they've been, the energies. I think there's been great hope that there's a better future ahead of us. And uh, that future is one of scoring victories and some public recognition. Uh, but they're small victories. There's more victories to come, that's for sure. And what would change this is you getting, I think, a real download of that information. So you were searching for information. Uh, but if you got a real download of information, you'd go, oh, this is what's happening. And then maybe some of the heartbreak that's there, some of the piecemeal changes wouldn't be required because you'd go for the bigger change i'm not sure stay with me and see what we make of it though pisces like the rest of us you know this is a time of unprecedented change of cycles ending and new ones beginning and you're searching for answers you're searching for information you're going out there and saying, how can I make sense of what's happening? Maybe that's a little bit too controlling in as much as... <coughs> <coughs> the messages we've been getting have been to submit to the universe, submit to God. But maybe it isn't. You know, information's got to be a good thing, hasn't it? And going out in search of it is can't be bad. So... <coughs> I don't want to overemphasize that spin I'm putting on it. So, yeah, you're looking for information. You're trying to make sense of the world. Pisces, there's every indication that in the past you were full of love. Knight of Cups, where's your heart on your sleeve, you know? Um, maybe something of a fool for love. I don't know if that's applicable to you. But love was very important. You maybe had a number of lovers, and it's not a malicious sort of streak in you. It's just you've got so much love to go around. Yeah, there's nothing malicious about this Knight of And now we have the Ace of Cups, which suggests that a new love is coming to your life. 
certainly a very loving card. It feels divine, it feels great, it feels wonderful. It feels like there's something very special about this love. I'm sure it comes from this past. So is your reading a very personal reading? I'm not sure it is. I'm not sure it is. There have been other signs, you know, and, and the key to them sort of moving on in this troubled times is by finding love, and I wonder if that's your key as well. And in future we have the star card, a card of great hope, a card of great renewal, a card of rebirth, which is exactly what I'm expecting to see in the future. And so I, I'd say it's a great card and it probably does follow on from this love. But somehow it doesn't completely tie up with some of the other cards. I mean, maybe everything is just going well for you. Maybe you are finding the information you need and steering the path. I suppose that's the most likely thing, you know. Yeah. Except for the next card, as you're about to hear. But no, maybe this is the right thing. Maybe things are going in the right direction, even though it's somewhat circuitous. And I guess the reason I'm sort of not gushing at the moment about this spread is that we have this tower card here. As I say, this sort of abrupt and sudden ending is, is common across many signs this month. Most of them have had the death card rather than the tower card. Uh, the tower card almost always implies that rebuilding, that it was necessary, that it was built on and whatever was built was not on a solid foundation and this was a necessary change. Whereas the death doesn't always imply that. But funnily enough, this month, the death card has always been a, a necessary change. One that's about rebuilding. If you remember, cycles end in cycles beginning. <coughs> <coughs> so I do see this tower card very much in that vein, that it's necessary in order for you to move on within these big cycles that are going on in the world you need your own tower moment to occur and yeah it does occur and given that the outcome isn't a bad outcome it does look to be the right thing to be happening now if you remember the overall energy is that the page of swords you going out and looking for some information and we now have here a King of Swords, which would change the outcome. So it's just possible that as a result of going out and looking for this information, you get the information you're looking for. And should you get the information that you're looking for, it would change everything. I think it's information on what's going on in the world, how the world is changing, and how you should be responding to it. Because I can see so much that's positive within these energies particularly that star card, you know, a, a rebirth, hope. These are the very things that need to be happening now. And maybe you get the information to find that. Maybe it does come to you. And if so, then maybe you can shortcut some pain. That's certainly how it feels. Now, the outcome isn't a bad outcome. It's you scoring some victories and getting some public recognition. Uh, but I can't help but feeling that if we could really get this information that we're looking for, there's a shortcut to it. Um, and, of course, the tower leads to this. So the tower is about rebuilding. But maybe there's a, a rapid way to do all these things. Just maybe. I mean, it's, I don't want to take the shine off. It, it's not a bad card. Remember, we've got the star energy 
of rebirth, of hope. So, you know, it's, it's, they're good cards, they're good cards, but I've just got a feeling there's something more in all of this. Now, what does this tower bring an end to, even? I mean, is it an end to this new love? I mean, it'd be a shame, but it might be. I think it's more an end to a way of life, a way of doing things, an end to ideas. And if you could have been a bit more open and understanding of others, it may have been avoided. It may have been avoided if you'd been a bit more creative, but we've got another tower and it's saying to me, well, no, you know, this was necessary. This has happened because it had to happen. And the first card of clarity is this temperance card. And it could be about temperance, you know, avoidance of alcohol, tobacco, overindulgence, narcotics. Could be about seeing every side of an argument, taking the middle ground, uh, being more conciliatory with others. And this card has been cropping up a lot over recent months. And there's every suggestion that that's what the universe wants us to do. So to avoid this tower, to avoid everything completely going wrong, maybe if you could try and see everybody's arguments, try and be more compassionate, you could avoid it. I'm not sure. And if you remember, we had the Page of Swords quite early on. Now we've got the Page of Cups. Now, if the Page of Swords is you looking for information, the Page of Cups <laughs> is something a bit more creative. And I wonder if the information is coming to you, because remember, we've got this King of Swords, uh, but you're not really able to understand it. You're not being creative in how you're putting together this information. The information's <laughs> coming but it doesn't really mean anything to you. You need more creativity. And if you could be a bit more creative in how you dealt with this information, uh, you could avoid the tower, or certainly avoid the worst consequences of the tower. And confirming the tower is the tower. Couldn't be clearer, could it? So I don't think there's anything we can do to offset this tower. We can accept that it's going to happen. Understand the reason it's happening and begin planning to rebuild our lives. Now a tower confirming the tower is pretty certain that it's going to happen. So yeah, we need to work with this tower. As I say, it's about rebuilding your life. You do need to do it, and that's what it's telling us. So what's what's this all about, Pisces? Well, it's an interesting spread, to say the least. You started off full of love, and then you find love. Now there's a tower coming up, and I don't know if you lose that love or not, but you certainly lose many things. Uh, as I say, there's a tower coming up, but it's something that has to happen. It's for the better. It's something that's necessary. You know change is going to happen. You don't quite know the nature of that change. Uh, but this tower is all a part of that change. You are seeking out information seeking out information of what's going on in the world, of how you should change. I'm not sure how forthcoming it is. Or if it is forthcoming, you're not very creative in the way that you put it together in and comprehending it. Because I think the information is out there for you to make the necessary changes. But having said all that, I've got great confidence in the future for you. 
you're going to have some small victories and public recognition for those small victories. Uh, but above all, there's a time of renewal, great hope and renewal, which is exactly the direction that you should be moving in, Pisces. So overall, despite there being some tensions in this reading, I do see it as a very positive reading that you're moving in the right direction. And, you know, I, I hope that this divine love isn't something that gets lost in the tower, because it seems to be the right thing for you. It really does.